from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Now the heat continues to build as we head into the first weekend of summer and it will back off a little bit on Monday and then the hottest day of the year so far set for Tuesday of next week. Today at least wasn't all that humid. That helped. 70 was the low. We soared to 95 this afternoon. That's eight above normal, four shy of the record. But the humidity was actually tolerable for most of the afternoon. But the heat will continue to build over the weekend. It's going to turn a little bit hotter than it was today. And the heat index each afternoon should be topping out right around 100 degrees. Now, in terms of the rain chances, it looks like a round of scattered showers and a few thunder showers arriving early Sunday around daybreak. And the new guidance is now making this the bigger event for the day. And the afternoon event may just be a few showers and perhaps a storm or two. And if a storm gets going, isolated severe storm can't be ruled out in all that heat Sunday afternoon. And as I mentioned, after a little bit of a break on Monday, Tuesday looks to be the hottest day of the year so far when the heat index is expected to get up to near 105 degrees. We weren't nearly that hot today. Uh, 90 to 95, our heat index topped out pretty much in the mid-90s. So today was nice compared to what is headed our way, especially on Tuesday. And it will be a, a dry start to our weekend. Live Doppler radar is all quiet. And as I mentioned, by daybreak Sunday, we'll have some weakening showers and thunder showers moving in from the northwest. Another nice evening for Friday after 5 on the Owensboro Riverfront. Winding down right now, still a good deal of people out there in Smothers Park. Shriners Fest in downtown Evansville also winding down for uh, day one. And they'll be firing up things again tomorrow. Should be a big afternoon on the Evansville Riverfront. Just make sure you find a way to stay cool. It's a warm evening. We're at 83. The dew point's creeping up up a little bit here at 66 but not all that high and the winds are calm upper 70s to lower 80s we're going to fall back into the low 70s by daybreak tomorrow morning so that big dome of high pressure is still over top of us but it will weaken and slide to the south over the weekend and open up the door for that weak cold front to come in from the northwest later on Sunday so the timing has changed a little bit with those rain chances let me show you the updated future tracker and point out that we do have that threat for an isolated severe storm Sunday afternoon. It's just a marginal level one risk, but there may not be all that much coverage. Future tracker for tomorrow was certainly quiet with a partly cloudy sky. And as I mentioned, a little bit hotter than today. Highs will be in the mid 90s. The heat index topping out around 100 in the afternoon. No problems tomorrow evening. Once again, we'll fall back through the 80s. Daybreak Sunday morning, we got a weakening line of showers and thunderstorms coming in from the north. This run holding that line together a little bit more so than the previous runs. So this may be our best chance of rain on Sunday. First thing in the morning, this is at 7 a.m., and the heavier amounts to be in our northern counties. Everything kind of dries up or at least diminishes as it pushes to the south. The cold front comes in in the afternoon. Not quite as hot, but more humid, but our model only develops a few spotty showers and thunderstorms. This is at 8 p.m., but we'll keep an eye on what does develop along the front for maybe an isolated severe storm. Doesn't look like all that significant of a threat right now. And then that front will be dropping the humidity, it looks like, on Monday before things heat up again on Tuesday. So overnight, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, 80s this evening. Our overnight low will be in the lower 70s and partly cloudy, very hot and humid tomorrow, a little hotter than today, mid 90s. Temperatures come down a bit. Humidity goes up on Sunday. It all equals out with those scattered showers and thunder showers. Now more early in the day, maybe a few more storms developing in the afternoon. 92. We're quiet Monday. There's your hottest day of the year so far, Tuesday. 98. We're weather aware Wednesday for more significant scattered storms, a stronger cold front moving through, and behind that front, more significant relief from the heat and humidity for next Thursday and Friday. All right. Thank you, Wayne.